out, check it out, check it out. Some full simultaneous fifth axis machining. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to program it, make it super simple. So no matter what your experience is, this video is gonna open your eyes, it's gonna be amazing. Boom. Oh man, I'm excited because we're gonna be doing some teaching behind the crazy machining, right? But before I get started, I wanna invite you, if you love this video, if you love the teaching that we're throwing down, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this video, and if you want us to teach on something, go ahead and put it in the comments below. You might see it in a future vlog. Boom! All right, so check this out. We have a video out there. It's got over 400,000 views where I took a big old chunk of titanium, 200 pounds, and machined 100 pounds away and basically machined a titanium lion. Now, when we started, we were doing three plus two. We we're basically indexing, using some big can of metal tools and just getting after it. That's when the rigidity is there. Everything is solid and it's all about maximum material removal, all right? Once all the material was removed and we did some of the finish passes, we went to full simultaneous, so we could actually get into all the crevices that we couldn't while doing three plus two. One of the best tool paths actually came right at the end when we dropped inside the mouth and around the face. There's a full simultaneous tool path. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I programmed that tool path so you can grab that information, you can bank it, and then you can use it on your own parts. Check this out. All right guys, check it out. Uh, this is the model of the lion right here. You got a lot of different features right here, which I've actually created to basically cause rotations, uh, show the different angles I wanted to bring in tools at and different things like that. You can see in the back over here, actually come off at different angles right here so we can actually rotate the lion down at different angles and then tell the software where my X, Y, and Z is located and then we can actually bring the tool path off of there. Okay, I don't want to get into all of that. A lot of you guys, if you guys have already done our five axis software on the Academy, you guys get it. And uh, if you haven't, then check out Titans of CNC Academy and go over to the five axis and uh, check out like the Titan 200M. It explains it well. Okay, so let's just get into it. This is a tool path I've isolated from all the rest of the tool paths. It's my tool five. It's a Harvey three ball mill. And uh, it is a beast. It's got six flutes and it kills it in this titanium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click right here to get into it. But for those that don't know, this tool path is a contour. It comes from 3D contour, all right? That's how you get into it. Since I've already created it, I'm just gonna edit it right here, okay? And then I'm gonna pop in over here. I have it protected, so I'm gonna say yes right here and let's just go quickly through I just want to show you guys the numbers uh, save this video use these numbers and you can have success 3d machining full simultaneous on your own parts using these numbers remember these numbers are for 6L4V titanium so basically just take these numbers and adjust them based on the material and application that you have all right my focus here is just to show you how easy it is okay so a lot of you guys who follow me through the building blocks in the academy, you've seen this guy already, all right? So these are the different tabs that we have to simply go in and fill out to have success, all right? So the first thing we have is we have our tool is a 3 8 ball end mill. Then we come down. It's all about surface foot when you're dealing with hard materials. So titanium 300 surface foot on this finished pass is a good surface foot. All right, so that's 300, which gives us uh, RPMs of 3,000 approximately. Uh, chip per tooth on a six flute tool is 0 0.0049, all right? And then that gives us a feed rate of 30, lead in 30, lead out 30, ramp in 30, 100 coming down. Everything's pretty gentle, right? This is hard material. We already roughed off 100 pounds of material. Now we're coming in with the full simultaneous just to clean everything up beautifully, all right? So we have shaft and holder on. It's basically just saying that when the tool comes down, 
uh, realize that there is a shaft. We do not want to hit that shaft against the part or the fixture. We also have a holder and we're calling out the holder also to avoid any collisions. So we got 0.04 and 0.2, okay? From here, we drop up here, we're doing silhouette. Silhouette is basically just coming off of our material. Our tool can go on the outside up to 125 thousandths, all right? And uh, contact only, our slope is zero to 90. Uh, rest machining is not on. Tool orientation, basically it started like this. We flipped it down, boom, and we just took these guys right here and we said this is X that way z goes up to the top of the machine and y is to the back of the machine and then the full simultaneous rock which will be about 20 degrees will come from here all right so we got to position it kind of like three plus two get into position and then we bring on the full simultaneous all right the model that we're cutting is five that's the face right here i'll just click you right there it's this guy right here, and then the four teeth, all right? Avoid surfaces. Now I click this guy. We want to machine all of this down to the depth that we're gonna call out, but we do not want to actually machine this guy, right? Or the fixture. So that's the three right here. You can notice the ears are not selected because the ears will lie below our depth of cut, therefore voiding it out. All right. Come up here. You can see on our clearance side, you can see off of retract height and retract height is over here which is the model top at 0.8 and we're basically just saying hey go 2.6 above the 0.8 get out of there all right so you don't hit anything the top height is model top it's a hundred thousandths the bottom is model top meaning we're at this position so right off of the tip of the nose right here drop down 2.2 boom you can see the line right here and uh, that's how deep we're machining, all right? This particular path is the second to the last path. It's a wider path, so it's not my final finishing pass. And you'll see that it'll have some gaps in it because basically we've done three plus two up to here. Now we wanna just clean this up real nice and get ready for the finished pass, which will be about five thousandths per step over, all right? So now that we come over here, boom, our tolerance is two thousandths. Coming over here, minimum shallow step down is five thousandths. Step over is 40 thousandths. Minimum diameter is zero, zero, zero. We can go both ways, meaning we can go any way we want. Maximum step down is 40 thousandths. Boom, boom, boom. We just have the islands on. Now this is it right here. We turned on multi-axis tilting. We're saying our Maximum tilt is 20 degrees. So now that we rotated it from here and we have it down here, now we can rotate 20 degrees, okay? We're calling this Z. So we're just saying, okay, you can go this way and you can go this way, 20 degrees. Uh, maximum segment length is 100 thousandths. Maximum tool axis sweep, meaning like per movement, you don't want this thing rocking like 90 degrees. You want it to be gentle, all right? so. We're going at 10 degrees, boom, everything else is turned off. Then we come over here, 
shortest path, meaning like don't waste a bunch of time. Let's get to it. You can see when you click on it, it actually shows Fusion 360 is pretty awesome, right? So it gives you everything right there. Boom, high feed rate, always high feed rate, 30 inches a minute, safe distance, 150, stay down distance, two inches, horizontal, lead in, 37 thousandths, 90 degrees, vertical, 37 thousandths, boom, 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 do the same thing on lead in and lead out. And then uh, check it out. So we're doing profile, straight line, two degrees, Coming down maximum ramp angle, 675, 42 thousandths on the clearance. And our start position doesn't matter because it's going to be pretty much the tip of the nose and it's just going to walk all the way down. All right. So then all I have to do is basically say, OK, boom. But I'm not going to say OK because I don't want to regenerate. So I'm just going to cancel it right there. Click this guy right here and you can see it. All right. So we did 40,000 step downs, boom. You can see where it's basically walking around the nose, walking around the face. And then when it gets into the teeth, it just basically keeps rocking back and forth to get into that mouth, all right? Instead of talking about it, let me just show you, all right? So we're gonna click this guy right here. I'm gonna come down to simulate, boom. This box comes up over here. I could turn on the stock, but I'm not going to because in real life the stock has already been taken off i'm just going to hit okay boom now you can see your tool when we we're talking about our shaft and our holder basically this is what it was looking at it's going to always keep this away from the model and the fixture right so it starts at the nose right there it's not rocking too much it's not rocking too much but watch what happens i'm going to actually speed it up a little bit so I'm going to start coming down and as it comes down, now you can see the angle changes. See the angle? So the cool thing about five axes is that you can see the tool right here is moving. And on some five axis machines, the tool or the spindle rotates, right? We're on a Haas and just like the DMU 50, the Haas has a B and a C axis. So the table is going to be doing the rotations, all right? The spindles does x y and z but the table does b and c so basically once you post it it's going to change but see how the rocking happens that's the full simultaneous in action right there all right so let me go a little bit deeper into it and it just keeps working its way down see the angle see the angle like boom you can see it like there it's almost straight up then you come over here and then it's like on its side that's the full fifth simultaneous coming in now watch it see how it gets in there boom 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 comes around and you see it just keeps it just keeps like tilting as it goes around goes inside boom boom does the teeth comes around keeps tilting it understands the exact tool path making it absolutely beautiful all right so i don't want to make this video too long so there you go those are my numbers on the second to the last finish pass using the harvey three ball and mill on our titanium lion if you haven't seen the lion this thing has four hundred thousand views it's a beast like what i really want you guys to know like the video is sexy the video is amazing you're cutting a lot of titanium but look at the tools look at the specs look at the surface foot and the chip load and bank that information because i'm teaching you how to machine titanium on a high level and i'm entertaining you at the same time but don't think it's just entertainment because this is high level stuff we're giving you all the specs bank it use it so you can raise your game up so you can take your family to a higher level in life because that's what this trade does it takes care of our families and therefore we need to take care of our customers our employers so we got to raise our game all right let me get to the bottom end of this man i could look at this stuff all day 
Ah, oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. But there you go. Full simultaneous five axis machining. Make sure you check out that academy. Boom. <laughs>